Hi guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm doing my November wrap up, which was actually quite a fail um, November as a whole. That's why I didn't have any videos, didn't have any blog posts. Um, it was just an outright disaster for me, um, which is why I'm also combining my sort of collective haul of the past three months, I think, um, July till September, October. August, September, October. Yeah, three months. Um, because if I didn't, this video will be really short. Because for November, I only read one book. Just one. <laughs> and it is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. And she's the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. And I really have no excuse because I only had exams for the first two weeks of um, November. And the last two weeks, I basically had free time. And I didn't read at all. I don't know why. I just didn't pick up a book. I didn't feel like re picking up a book. It just wasn't happening. So yeah, um, but I really did enjoy this. I read this for the Eerathon Readathon, and the theme for this month was, or last month was, fairy tales or fairy tale retellings. So essentially, like Cinder is about a Cinderella um, set in the future in China, where she, or New Beijing where she is a cyborg. I have done a review for this, so I'll leave a link to it down below. But I really did enjoy it. I didn't think it wowed me, um, per se, but it was really interesting, like a really interesting concept. Um, and I'm excited to read the second book once I get my hand on it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave it a 4 out of 5. So that's that for my November wrap-up. Um, as you can see, November wasn't great for me, um, so yeah, but leave a comment down below telling me how you guys went, preferably way better than I did, right, um, and which book you enjoyed the most th last month reading. Getting into my collective haul now, and this is a combination of books that I've bought, books that I've won, and books that I've um, got sent to by Simon, uh, from Simon & Schuster. So first up, if I remember correctly, I'll go through the books that I bought first. Um, so I bought a couple of books here. The first one is Percy Jackson and the Greek Gods. Most of these I've done review, reviews for, so I'll link, leave a link to them down below. I really don't remember how much I rated them, but I really did enjoy Percy Jackson and the Greek Gods. It's just sort of a companion story to the series um, by Rick Riordan, and it just basically retells the origins of gods. Um, in a really sort of witty and sarcastic way because Percy is the storyteller. And then I bought Air of Fire, which is the third book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mars, and I absolutely love this. I remember I gave this four, 5 out of 5 because it was so epic. Um, it really picked up the entire series, and I'm so excited to finish off the series. So definitely give the series a go. You just have to keep pushing through, um, and I'm sure you'll love it. And then we'll ha we have A Bell Tsar by Meg Wolitsa. Um, it's sort of a story based around the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, sort of more of a modern take, I guess. To make, so to make it sort of more relatable to teenagers or young adult readers as we are. And the main character um, has lost her boyfriend, so her parents send her off to this sort of you know, healing school, I guess, um, for troubled teenagers because she's not adapting very well. And there's this really like cool plot twist to it. Um, I thought it was sort of a really thought-provoking read, but at the same time, it didn't really meet my expectations. Um, but I think you guys should definitely give it a go because it's an interesting way to get to know the Bell Jar. Um, if you don't think you want to read the Bell Jar, because it's actually quite of a heavy read. And then I have The Program by Suzanne Young, which is the first book in the Program series. And I really enjoyed this. Um, suicide is an epidemic in this society. And teenagers who sort of um, have the side effects are sent to the program, where they're basically mind-washed into becoming happy again, I suppose, but really forgetting all their previous memories and who they really were. And I think I love the cover. Um, the, I got this in the hard cover. And I think it's so cool that it opens up to the two people there, but here you don't re like it's sort of like on the outside you don't really know who they are because their back's facing you. But if you open up, there they are. Oh, there they are. Very attractive. <laughs> so I just thought it was a really sort of. Um, I just thought it was great because it really introduced social issues to it, and I really want to read the next book. And I also have Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman which are two really well-known authors. 
I'm pretty sure this is sort of middle grade. And I know they started off writing it together, not really knowing that they would sell as many copies as they did. And now it's a book, and it's a really beautiful book. Um, basically, it's sort of the origins of the world, um, more of the biblical tale. So, you know, Adam and Eve and stuff like that. And you've got evil angels and good angels um, and the apocalypse is coming but they're missing one person which is the Antichrist so they have to try and find that person or the Antichrist basically um, I started reading it I haven't really gotten into it as I said November wasn't really great for me but I really want to finish this off because I think it would it's going to be one hell of a ride basically and I also won two books. Um, the first one is Masquerade by Kylie Fornasia. I think that's what it's called. Um, what her name is pronounced. Uh, from The Happy Indulgence, which is a book blog, so I'll leave a link to her down below. Um, it's set in Venice with a group of teenagers who are sort of like trying to get out into society, you know, making their debut, um, trying to find their one true love sort of thing. Like really Gossip Girl-esque, um, but more in the 1750s. But to me, it really reminded me of um, a movie, which I do mention in my review. Um, and I completely... Oh, I think it's Cruel Intentions, that's right. It really reminds me of that. Um, so it's got that sort of really mysterious, um, gritty feel to it. But I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. Um, so yeah. And I have The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which is the first book in the Magistrum series, that's right. Um, a middle grade series based around a boy named Callum Hunt who joins the magic school. And um, even though he's, you know, he's... Dad warns him about he, his dad warns him about blah, blah, his dad tells him not to. There we go. Um, and he tries to fail, but if he can't, and so he enters the school, meets these two friends, and they go on this adventure, I guess. And the adventure continues on. Um, so like it's an ongoing series. That's right. Um, and I won this from Dimix. I didn't really love it as much as other people did. I know a lot of people gave it five out of five, but I just didn't really enjoy it as much. So yeah. And then we have books from Simon & Schuster. I'm pretty sure I've shown you the ones that they've sent me before. So these are the other four that they've sent to me. The first one is Lie Bird Hill by Anna Roma. Most of these are just adult fiction. Um, so these two sisters go back to their childhood home where there's a secret. Um, I think their cousin goes missing, maybe? Oh wait. I got confused with another book. Let's start again, shall we? Um, Live Bird Hill is basically a jewel story, but I think there's another, I think there's a third person there as well. Um, so basically it's like their family history, um, told in, told from different perspectives, um, which was quite interesting and it was set in Australia, um, to do with indigenous people as well, so I thought it was quite, quite good of a read. <gasps> then we have You by Caroline Kepnes, a thriller, crime, um, based around a stalker who ends up falling in love with this girl, so he tries to stalk her down um, and sort of get her to fall in love with him, and she does, but she has a secret of her own as well, and their relationship becomes sort of like this dangerous, obsessive relationship to it. I really did not like this book. I think I gave it a 2 out of 5. Um, one of the books that I've read this year that I just did not like, I know a lot of people did, like they found it thrilling. I found a borderline eroticism, so I did not like that, but you might like it because apparently it is very similar to Gone Girl, um, even though I didn't really see it that way. And another crime thriller is Trust in Me by Sophie McKenzie. Um, this I didn't like either, but it was a lot better than, than you um, because it didn't have that underlying explicitness to it, even though you was a lot more thrilling than trusted me. Um, basically, Livy's best friend dies, and people think it's a suicide, but she knows there's something behind it, so she tries to investigate herself, which I didn't really believe. Um, and the ending was sort of weird, because I never expected that to happen. Like, and it wasn't in a good way, like, it was just like, raw. how did that happen? Like, where did that come from? Sort of thing, so yeah. And I have... A Sudden Light by Garth Steen, Stein, Stein, yeah, um, which I have not read yet, but I know it's a fiction contemporary, like an adult fiction contemporary, 
Um, and I think I might give it a go. I'm not too sure yet. I got this last month. So, yeah. And lastly, I also received Champions, a Fire's End, which is a art copy from Charlotte Jane. It's a mix between, I guess, um, Greek mythology and fantasy. Um, so you've got champions and they're trying to fight this battle um, for the Greek gods because the Greek gods can't settle their own problems, I guess. And these mortals have these abilities to fire, water, air, and earth. You know, um, so it's a bit uh, like it's a bit here and there um, put into one book. And I thought the concept really had potential. I didn't think it lived up to that potential. I was really confused reading this. But as an arc, I guess, you know, she had time to sort of fix it up. I haven't read the foolproof copy, but I, yeah. So if you wanted to read reviews for any of the ones that I mentioned that I've read, I've left links to them down below. Go check it out. Um, otherwise, keep an eye out for my birthday slash, slash Christmas haul. This is why I did it this first, because I knew that, or I know that that haul is going to be a lot longer. Um... I hope you guys have a great day and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!